Talking about the human now, well, as I say, because you're going to complicate it. When I am talking, I'm always talking about Jesus, who is both God and man, and therefore I can't rescind from that. What about the pictures, the dove? What about the dove? Dove. When God became the dove, so don't exclude the dove. So you have the Father, the Son, uh, the Holy Spirit, who became the dove, and the Son, who became a human. So you have a very complex Do you belief. Want me to, com to comment on that? Yeah, go ahead. Jesus, uh, the Holy Spirit never became a dove. What did he do? A dove was uh, used as a kind of image to show the reality of the Holy Spirit's coming. So if you were to find the so verse from the Bible Jesus where the Holy Spirit came down as a dove, you will just say, he didn't come there. Yeah, he was in the form of a dove, with the appearance of a dove. Like the form of a man. Excuse me. If he came in the form of a man, like Jesus, and the Holy Spirit came in the form of a dove, what's the difference? The difference is that uh, the Holy Spirit is spirit. And the Divine Son is a spirit, he, he according to you. Not, he did not become a dove. What did he become? A dove was used as a kind of uh, visual uh, uh, explanation to people as to, as to what was happening. So he didn't come as a dove? He did not. No, he, 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 he was given this uh, sort of symbol of a dove, a visible no, physical symbol, dove. rather like... Um, did a physical dove descend? No, no it's not. A, the, the Holy Spirit is not a physical dove. No. The Holy did the Holy Spirit, Spirit take the form? Of a physical the Holy dove. Spirit is spirit. No, you're not and, and listening yeah, to the question. Given, well, I don't think you're listening to the answer. The, the Holy Spirit came uh, in the form of. It was given a sort of appearance, um, a, a, an appearance of dove was given so that uh, John the Baptist would, what? would see uh, uh, the reality of what was happening. Um, I want you to think Holy, for, for a moment. But, but that was just a, a kind of visual. No, 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 no. It's not visual. Uh, visual. But of course, I, I find it how it's you, not visible, you, you. But the dove, the whole point of the, the dove was that it was visible, but it was not an ordinary dove at all. It was a kind of uh, symbol of, to show the reality of what was happening. I find it very strange when the divine son, in your belief, takes in the form of a man, it's a physical manifestation. It's yes. called incarnation. Yes. When the Holy Spirit incarnates into a dove, comes in the form of a dove, you play it down and you say, oh, no, no, this is not the form, it's a symbol. Was the human form, the flesh, a symbol? No, I mean, be consistent. We, we believe what was revealed, and it is no way inconsistent to say that God, the Son, became man as a true incarnate baby, but there was this particular vision of, uh, uh, of the Holy Spirit in the form of a dove, which was not an incarnation. There's no, um, there's no parallel between the two, really. There's certainly no contradiction in believing you can have a sort of uh, vision. Of that wasn't a vision. Spirit. Well, it, excuse me, it was a vision. Can you pull the text out, please? Can you pull the text out? Yes. Where the Holy Spirit descended as a dove. And explain, you know, from the text itself, without your interpretory gloss. Well, it's not interpretory. This is the, the faith of the Church, which is the, inter which is the interpretation of the Holy Spirit. And... Uh, John said, I saw the Spirit descend as a dove from heaven and how clear can it be? Remain on him. I myself did not know him, but you sent me to that place and you said to me, He on whom you see the Spirit descend and remain, this is he who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. Very clear. And exactly I the way I interpreted it. And witness that this is the Son of God. Now we have the whole uh, knowledge and revelation of the New Testament. That of course God became man in Jesus. But, uh, Can we talk about the dove a little bit? The Holy Spirit is pure spirit, and that, that coming down on the dove, the true interpretation is mm -hmm. that he, uh, that he, he that there was this sign given of what looked like a dove so that, to explain look, what was happening. It's not look like a dove. Help, Why do you downplay help, it? To help their unbelief. But anyone with any sense at all who read the New Testament would know that the revelation is 
but the Holy Spirit is pure spirit. Did the Holy Spirit he, he come became, down as a dove? He never became incarnate. So what was the dove then? Well, we do depend upon common sense and upon the rest of the New Testament to interpret that. Explain no away one, this no verse one, and, no one and go ever, somewhere else. But never, no one has ever believed in the New Testament or in the church that the Holy Spirit was an incarnate. Because the church never tells because, you to question. It, Even as you as a priest, you didn't realize that the Holy Spirit came down as a dove and seen by who? John. He saw with his own eyes, not with his spiritual eyes. He saw it descended. So now you have an incarnation of the one of the persons into a dove. And yet, you only worship the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and the human being, but not the dove. But, but you're taking a particular interpretation that's never really been understood by anyone with any common sense. And certainly common not by, sense and doesn't apply in your belief, does it? Not, and certainly not mm. by the church. Sure. So we interpret the Word of God by the light of the Holy Spirit. And in your uh, interpretation, which is very okay. implausible okay. on any ground, since you don't want to talk about that, is not our faith. And if you're trying to say, well, it says that, well, that is simply a misinterpretation of the Old Testament. So you, you're not a monotheist, the then. Thank you very much for explaining. You're not a monotheist. You believe in one God, the Father, who is God well, if, by Himself. I, I'm sorry. Can if, I make my want, point? Are you asking me what I am? I'm asking. Are you and, asking me? Am I a monotheist? You no, know, I'm saying. Do you accept my word if I say I am a monotheist? But I think or not. No, no. Let me explain what I mean. Well, you, no, you've insulted I, me by saying you're not. You're, you're not a you monotheist. To, you're not. You need to let me tell you what I understand. By well, your if faith. you let me answer, yes. Yes, go ahead. So, if somebody believes there is one God, who is comprising of three persons, yes. each person is God. Yes. Not one third God, but fully God. Yeah. So you have the Father who is fully God, you have the Son who is fully God, and you have the Holy Spirit who is fully God. So there are three fully gods, but they make one family of three gods. Because there are three fully gods, which makes one Godhead, which is one family. Isn't Father and Son a family? That's what I mean. You don't believe in one God, you believe in a one family of three gods. We Go ahead. believe in one God in three persons. Each of the three persons is, is God. We do not believe there are three gods. Oh. Now, if you're attributing to us the belief that we believe in three gods, you obviously haven't understood what we believe. Now, so, I think if we're beginning to have a proper conversation, you would believe what I'm saying. That's what you believe. Never has the church ever said we believe in three gods. It has said that we believe in three persons in one God. So, so if we're going to have a proper debate, you should accept that. That's what we believe. I, mean, I know what you believe. And not say that you, you believe in three gods. No. We that's simply deny no, no, no. what We know what you claim to believe. Well, why, but in why practice... Did you, why did you tell us that we believe in three gods no, no, no. if you know in, what in, we believe? No, in practice, That though, means you not only know what we believe, no, but listen. you're prepared to insult us. As, as a priest, you should realize, in practice, well, you, you say... You as say a human the, being, you okay. should accept... Okay, say. fair enough. Let me let me ask you a question. Is the father fully God by himself? Or does he need the other three, two persons to make him God? It's not a question of needing, it's a question of the eternal being and the eternal reality. That God is three persons. I'm asking. It's not a question of No, no, need. don't ask me what it's not a question of. If I ask you this question, you need to address it. I have is the, is the father fully God without the other two or he needs the other two to make him God? There's no question of need but of eternal reality. The you're not really, there are three, you're not, the you're fact not, is you're there thinking. are three persons in the one true God. If there were four that persons... That is a question of reality okay. and it's a question of revelation. If there were four it's persons... Also, it's also a question of mystery. If there were four persons within the Godhead, when we, when we, sorry, you're not listening. If there were four persons within the Godhead, that would still be one God, right? No, because there are not four persons. No, if there were hypothetically. Well, I'm if if I'm not prepared to answer. Why not? Hypothesis. Because because you need to really reason. There's no point in talking nonsense. No, no, no. The nonsense is when somebody says, you know what? I believe in God the Mother. God the daughter, God the uncle, God the brother, God the niece, and God the friend. But they're not five, six gods, they're one God. You would say, that makes perfect sense, would you? Yes. yes. You would say it makes perfect, perfect, perfect yes. sense. Perfect. So if a Hindu says, I believe in God the husband, and God the wife, Parvati, and God the son, called Ganesh, and I believe in God this, God that, they're actually monotheists in your belief. 
if God had revealed in Hinduism one God in many uh, persons, well then if God had revealed that, that would be kind of a different thing. But we deny that there is a divine revelation in Hinduism. You're not addressing the question either. The one true revelation is in Jesus Christ, and he has revealed that God is love. That there is one na divine nature and is perfect unity, but that there are three persons. Now we believe what Jesus has revealed, but in that way it's beyond uh, human so, understanding. So I think I get it, get you now. But, uh, if a revelation said God comprises of 21 persons, father, mother, uncle, niece, daughter, and all of that you have you, right? If it was a revelation and God said, all these 21 persons, it's one God, you would say, that's one God. Well, so would you, if you knew God had revealed Alan, it. I want you if to you answer knew the question. God had revealed it, but it's ridiculous. So you would say that's it's one God. It's ridiculous to make a hypothesis, no, no, which, I want, which is not true. The reason that if God revealed it, of course, if with, God revealed something, with all, of course we believe it. No, no, with all due respect. If God reveals something, would you believe it? If God, God reveals something, would let, you believe it? You not no answer. You haven't answered if my God, question. No, I know, but I'm answering. Can you answer this question? If God it, revealed no, that if, 21 persons makes one God, you would say that's one God. No, but if God revealed it, would you believe it? You you need to answer this if question. God revealed look, look, it, would you, you answer as a question. priest? If God is this how it? you deal with your congregation? Well, as I a priest, I haven't had someone who look, look, just as a priest, repeating the same thing. Maybe they're just blind them. sheep. But someone may one day ask you, like I'm asking you today. I want you to think. If God revealed to you in a book that there were 21 persons and that's one God you would consider that's monotheism, one God. Is that do, correct? Do you not see that by your premise, if God revealed it, if we knew God had revealed, well, of course we would do it. You're not answering the question it. that I'm well, asking. I am, I am answering the question. So I'm, if I'm God revealed out, 21 out, persons out and question. one God, would you say, yes, this is one God? Would you? If, if we knew God had revealed yes. it, well then of course you believe whatever you believe God has revealed. As what? That that 21 person is one God, right? Well, if, if you, if you've got to have grounds for believing Excuse God me. has revealed I want you to really come clean. Well, I want you if, to talk if, sense. No, no. If you had a revelation in the Bible where God said, we are 21 persons and that's one God, would you say that is one God? Well, if God revealed it. Well, again, if, if God revealed yes, it. Yes, if he did. If I believed God had revealed it, well, I mean, obviously I would not believe God had revealed it. Now, if he did, well, if God revealed in the Bible that I am 21 persons, father, brother, uncle, daughter, niece, what have you, and we are all united, we are one God, you would consider from your belief and conviction that that is one God. Well, is no, that correct? No, my belief and conviction is that God is three persons. No, no, you're not, you're not in, answering the question. Three persons in one God. I want and you to show I, me your of principle of reasoning be, of your of belief. I would not believe. Because you left Hinduism saying, because it was not revealed, so I am not going to call it monotheism. I'm going to call it polytheism. But if God revealed that, you will say it's monotheism. So if God revealed in the Bible, there are 21 persons in the Godhead, you would say that is one God. I just want you to affirm that. Well, I, I believe what you believe in Jesus Christ and what he has revealed. So I mean, Why is it so difficult for you to have, have affirm well, that? Well, partly because it's blasphemy. It's not blasphemy. About 21 gods and so on. No, you've got revealed even, it. Even in speculation. You've got revealed even it. Even in speculation, it's nonsense and it's blasphemous. Because That's we why know that God has revealed himself in Jesus Christ as three persons and to have speculations about 21 gods is blasphemous. Did God reveal you, that to Moses yourself? and and Abraham the prophets? Peace be upon them. Did God reveal their three in one to the two of these prophets, Abraham and Moses, upon him, them in peace? No, there, there are, there are, um, there are many, there are some texts in the Old Testament that point forward to the divinity of Christ. That's what I'm asking. But it only becomes really revealed fully in Jesus himself and in the proclamation of the Holy Spirit to the church at Pentecost. So Abraham the prophet, upon him be peace, didn't know that God is three persons, according to what you just said. No, I don't think that was very little. No, I don't think Abraham did. 
no, he was, he was given a, a revelation. So God withhold God. this essential information to his friend. Well, he was gradually preparing the Jewish people for this revelation, and he, he revealed it bit by bit throughout, so that it did come as a fulfillment of the prophecies when Jesus uh, came on this earth. So it, there was prophecies, but it was a slow process of revelation. Was it difficult for certainly, Prophet Abraham to understand that? Abraham wasn't faced with the difficulty of understanding that. So did God Abraham reveal, Abraham why didn't God reveal that essential nature about him to his one who called my friend Abraham? Well, Are you saying you, Abraham... If you, if you want to ask of God a question why he didn't reveal it, you better ask God. No, I'm, I'm saying quite clearly... But what we do know is this the is way a, which, in which God did reveal himself, maybe, and it was by a very slow process, uh, particularly through the prophets, and patriarchs, whereby the Jewish people were ready at a point where they could have, and many of them did, recognize God the Son when he became man. You're committing, a, 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 very important, you're committing a mistake, my friend. Very important. I'm not talking about the people. I'm talking about the prophets that God chose and even called his friend. If Abraham now goes in heaven, which he will, because he is one of the mighty messengers of God, according to your belief, the first time when he sees God, that God has his three persons, he will faint. He'll be in a shock. He didn't know that God has a son. He will be in a shock. Imagine now you discover, imagine you discover that God has a wife and a sister. How would you feel? You will feel you're deceived. No, no, Abraham was not given the revelation of the Trinity. And that's what that doesn't apply. And there was the long preparation so that people would be ready right throughout, not people, the, him, right him, throughout him. the prophets of the Old Testament. You see, why you're talking example, about the people. If you take Isaiah, he certainly uh, prophesied the divinity of Jesus Christ. No, the prophet Isaiah. absolutely not. You know what Isaiah said? What do you mean, not? Let, not. Me, tell you, no, no, let me tell you what Isaiah said. Before me, God says to him, there is no God form. After me, there is no God form. I alone am God and there is none else. So what did God tell Isaiah? He alone is God. There is no trinity. Affirmations of the Godhead of the one true no, God. No, 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 no. God is one. <laughs> they are not contradictory to the passages. Of did you hear what I just quoted the from the passage? The did, you, did you hear what I quoted? I heard very well. And right. And when and when God tells someone, before me there was no God form, after me there will be no God form, I alone am God, there's none else. Are you saying besides the Father, there is the Son? Not besides the Father, but with the Father, united in the Father, to say from all eternity, but this I, am is the, what? I am the one God, is what we say as Christians. We believe in the one true God. No, you don't believe, believe in one God. In three persons. No, you don't believe in, in one, one God. God. You believe in we a do. triune God. Well, you're telling me what okay. I believe. What's the difference but between one and triune? You're not, you're not stating uh, <laughs> you're not I don't think, what I'm saying. But I think we believe in one God. Incorrect. Who is three persons. Incorrect. Well, you believe in, in a triune God. View, there is a difference, my dear it's one pri way of, priest. Uh, one way of arguing. No, no, no. Which just says, there is a difference the between saying, one... And the other is just to say nonsense. Okay, is excuse me. Say, are, you, even arguing. are you saying there is no difference between one and Trinity? Well, one refers to the unity of the one God. No, no, no. Are you saying... And Trinity belongs to the three Do you shout like that when you speak to people? Who are one God. Yeah. So when you say there is no difference between one and Trinity? Well, you've asked that question, I've answered it. Is there a Presumably difference? Presumably because you don't have any... Is there a difference? I've just explained. Explain again, please. There is the one God in one nature has three persons in love. And that is what John means you see, by you see, God is love. As an intelligent person, you need to answer me intelligently. Yes, yes. One and two in one and three in one and five in one are not the same. Do you follow? Well, Is two in one the same as three in one? No, but they're both no. But they're both oh. intelligible statements. Well, excuse me. Whereas if, what you're if, saying is just... Excuse me. Okay. If one in one and two in one is not the same, is one in one and three in one the same? Uh, three in one means three in one. Is it one, the same as one, one in one? One means one and two means two and three no, means no, three. No, no, no. What I think, I think, I think, I think, I think you've now, I think you've got God. it there. 
if one in one is not the same as two in one, not the same as three in one, then one in one is not the same as three in one, right? So you can't call no, yourself no, no, one that, God. It's a triune God. No, it's nonsense. No, and it, it, you, what you have said is just as much nonsense if one said. What is my nonsense now you, that I said? I'm just going to tell you if you don't interrupt. What you've said is just as much nonsense as, as you say. Now you say there's one family, and yet I see there's now there's a father, a mother, and a child. Therefore, it can't be one family. What you're saying is just as much nonsense as that. When I said you're one in one is three, not the same as three in one, how is that a nonsense? Because you're not distinguishing between the nature and the person. Excuse me. And anyone who has ever explained the Trinity to you will have explained there are three persons in one nature. Listen. And if you is the Godhead that, one God? Now listen. Different than the Father? Now listen. Does the Godhead have a will on its own? You don't refer to God as it. That's very irreverent. Does the Godhead have a will? of their own um, yes of course there is a divine will so you have the will of the father will of the son and will of the holy spirit and will of the godhead yes so there's, there's four wills there, no no they're eternally united in love and in their will the excuse father me and the son and the holy spirit no, no the godhead united is the godhead a possessor of a will the godhead in because that's what you identify god as of, one god god of course so you have that four wills. This is divine will. No, they're united in one will. No, excuse me. They're, the Father has a will. There are three persons uh, with one, uh, one will. One, one no, 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 no. Who is the Godhead? Totally Who is the Godhead? No, I can ask you a question now. You're not going to answer your question because you think it's too, no, too no, because mysterious. You, because you're keeping repeating the same question. Because I'm trying, you, I'm trying for you to understand that reasonably. Well, I mean, yes. Because even you as a priest, it's not the end of learning, is it? Well, I think, you know, you, 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 if, you Sorry? Make, if you want to make a courteous remark, I'll answer it courteously. If you're just, <laughs> Look, if I learn every day. I learn every day. Are you saying you've finished all the learning and there's nothing to learn? Well, no, I've never said anything like that. Right. So what but, I'm saying is, what I I'm saying... I finished uh, doubting in Jesus Christ, in that I am fixed. I believe in the Word of God, and that I'm fixed. I'm not going to change over that. That's so your belief. Within that... No, you're I, entitled I to your belief. Yeah, may, may, may. But in the day of judgment, when God will ask you, why did you worship my messenger, what will you say? I will say that... Uh, he, he, what will he, you say? I don't believe he will say that. He will say to you, why did you not acknowledge Jesus Christ? Well, Jesus that Christ... There's a difference between us okay. that you don't believe... Let me tell you my Jesus response Christ would be... As God the Son. Let me tell you my response well, I thought you were coming to ask me questions. No, uh, no, no, no. Remember, if God asked me that question, do you know how I would try to answer? Yes. Jesus Christ that you sent, he said, worship God. He said, I'm going to my God. He himself knelt down on the floor on the ground and worship God. And he said, you should worship your God only, none else should you serve. And yet, how then am I to take that Jesus Christ who worshiped you to take him as God? Because he himself proclaimed his God. Where did he say he was God? Well, he, he, he said in chapter seven of St. John's Gospel. Let's have a read. He I am the son of God. Now you see how you've changed the total uh, discussion. We are talking about God and you're saying I am the son of God. I'm the brother of God, daughter of God. Where did he say I am God and a recipient of worship? He said before Abraham was, I am. I am what? I am. I am what? He is I am. Is, I am what? I am is the word of God. Do you know, the do you word, know, word, as we word, started the earlier, word, the word Yahweh, uh, means I am. And that, that is, uh, do you know the passage in Greek? Do you know the passage in Greek? I haven't got the Greek here. But, but do you know the passage in Greek? Greek yes. Go ahead. Let's let it, I'll show you how the Christians over the centuries have been totally not looking into this with any deep contemplation. Well, that's just, if an, that's I, just an insult. Excuse me. Which, which uh, is totally unjustified. Okay. okay. Been allow me to allow me to explain reading. myself. Okay. Allow me to explain myself then, and tell me where I'm wrong. Yeah. The word for the name of God is Yahweh, yes. right? Okay, let me use the same statement Jesus used, substituting the English I am back to its original name. And now you tell me kindly what this means, if it doesn't mean anything like gibberish. 
before Abraham was Yahweh. If I said that, what am I claiming? If I said before Abraham was Yahweh, what am I claiming by making that statement? No, no. I am not saying before Abraham was I am Yahweh. The text is clear. There's no two I am's. Yeah, there's no two I am. So he says before Abraham was Yahweh. Before Abraham was El Shaddai. Before Abraham was Ego Amy. So before Abraham was God. That's the name. You try to deceive yourself and others, in my humble opinion, by using one story. <laughs> I'm